All right. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the YouTube channel. My name is Kieran. This is Real Talk Football. To be honest, I'm in no mood whatsoever to make this video. So I apologise if I'm not too expressive with my emotions because I'm just demoralised. To be honest, uh, <sighs> VAR ruins football again. Um, and I'm just, I'm gonna start off with um, I'm gonna start off with congratulating Leicester. I think they played fantastically today. And it was well deserved uh, for the most part. I mean, they probably play better, you know, so probably deserved from them, you know, so fair play to them. And congratulations to Brendan as well, winning his first trophy. They deserved it in every way. Um, so let's just get that out of the way first. I'm very proud of Chelsea's performance as well, don't get me wrong. I'm proud of the players put in, but to be honest, I'm proud of what they put in and to get to this final more than I am proud. Of what I see in the pitch today. I think we could have done a lot better. I think Leicester wanted it more than us. And it's just a damn shame man. It's just a fucking damn shame. That goal stands. It could be a completely different game. I could be sitting here. Talking how good the team is. How proud I am of them. Um, so it's just a really fucking shame. It's a big shame. That I have to sit here. And, and you know. Almost criticise our performance. Because. Cup finals are always going to be tight. We know this, and it it could be decided by a last minute var goal like that, and it's it's absolutely shocking that it has to be. To be honest, um, I'm sick to death. I'm sick to death. Firstly, um, what Tugel could have done better, I suppose, in the game, Reese James should have started right right wing back in my opinion and played Aspi like right the right centre back. I think that was. Tactical error on Tuchel's part, but to be honest, I don't know what else he could have done. Like, he played the formation. It is what it is. I think we should have won the game, you know, and it's VAR again, man. I don't want to go on a fucking rant about VAR, but it's just driving me up the fucking wall at this point. Um, it's ruined football. It's destroyed football. The game is gone. In my opinion, from what I've seen of the cameras, Ben Chilwell is level. He's onside. He's onside. He's level. What happened to level in football? What happened to offside being level as well? It's just absolutely bullshit. And they're making up lines as they go along. Drawing lines wherever the fuck they want to disallow this goal. They were dying to disallow this goal. Dying for it. And it's bullshit, man. It's fucking bullshit. I can sit here, I can rant all day, but... No, I will sit here and rant all day, man. It's fucking... It's, it's killing the game. It's killing it. I fucking celebrate that goal more than I celebrate any goal this season. And that, that celebration just got kicked back to my face. And same with all them players. You've seen Reese James pushing Vardy over. That was his frustration at that, man. Because he hit the camera with the celebration. What sort of bullshit is that, man? Fucking stupid decision. I'm sorry. He's onside. He's level. He's level. Like, what is it? A, a centimetre on, on his shoulder? That's offside. It's, it's absolutely ludicrous that they disallowed this goal. This is worse than last year, man. This is worse than fucking Anthony Taylor last year. It's horrendous. Sorry, just let me vent that frustration. I can't, I can't fathom it. And to, for it to happen in such a crucial point of the game, I don't think I've seen a more crucial VAR decision in my life. And it just happens to be Chelsea on the end of it. Referees are just waiting to ruin games like that. It's, it's fucking horrific. I'm sorry, but... Even if you're a Leicester fan sitting there, you're delighted you won the trophy, obviously. First time you've won it. But, like, surely you can't argue with how bullshit that decision is as well. Like, FA Cup final, last minute winner, the two teams going to extra time, it's a great game of football. And once again, this fucking video assistant referee proves the shit itself in the biggest of occasions. And I'm just like, how can we continue using this, this technology? It's horrendous. And I, look, I'm very proud of the team. I'm very proud of how they performed. And look, I think Mason Mount did a fucking great volley at the end there. Casper Michael was absolutely brilliant for Leicester today. And if that goes in, it's a different ball game completely. But that goal right at the end, it got me. It's heartbreaking. It sunk my stomach, you know. Just seeing the game in disarray like that. For that goal to be disallowed. Such a great goal. Such a great moment with the fans to be swept away like that. It's... It's sickening really. For football fans, I don't care if you're Man United, Leicester, 
Spurs fan, I don't care if you're on the other side of the world watching as a neutral, surely you can agree that that like that's not right what just happened there. And look, something needs to be done. Does it? I mean, these fuckers won't do anything. These officials, they love it. They love fucking influencing games and ruining games of football. Like I'm sorry, Anthony Taylor, man, last year ruined the FA Cup final. Um, that ref, like I know I'm going back to history, but that ref in '09 ruined that semi final of the Champions League. As long as they have this equipment, they love ruining games of football like this. It's oh, I love to make it all about me. Like fuck off, bullshit, bullshit again. That's just that's just the goal. That's just the disallowed goal. I can honestly be butthurt and go on about the handball in the lead up to the Leicester goal. Like that's a handball. He has his hand up in the air, handballs it. It goes straight to Thielemans. How is that not a handball? You know, like come on, Varish shit. If you're gonna use it, use it properly. You don't use it to fucking ruin games like this. Like. I said about the Thielemans goal there. If that was given on a normal day, I would be alright with it. But it's the fact that VAR is there. And it doesn't even influence. And then it goes ahead and influences the game. When it's a fucking dick hair offside. I'm sorry. That's just fucking... It's completely contradicting itself there. That you you won't give a handball for a blatant handball. But yeah. You'd give the fucking marginal offside. Like... Kill yourself, Var. Honestly, <laughs> if Var was a person, man, it would be the most hated person on earth. Honestly, if I fucking hate it, I fucking hate it. This this has pushed me over the edge. I think it's great for some things, like obvious fucking penalties that should be penalties. But this fucking bullshit with the offside, where the fucker, it's like half his dick hair of his arm is offside. Go fuck yourself. Honestly, stupid fucking decision today. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sick of it. Lose two finals in a row. Shove it. I'm done. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. But I'm pissed off. This fucking hurt, man. It's heartbreaking. Bullshit. VAR decision again. Ruins football. Ruins this fucking game. And let's hope it's better for the Champions League final. Because that's all that's left now. I, I just want the trophy. That's it. Thanks for watching. Peace.